so guys 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 so here i have uh, our onion and tomato yes guys so i'm going to chop uh, our onion and tomatoes then i start cooking yes guys so i'm chopping the onion after washing and this is our knife and the chop board so i'm going to cut our onions into small pieces Yeah, the fire is lighting up so well, but I have to cut the onions first. Yeah, our onion is there. Yeah, so meanwhile, I'll put our spuria on the fire. Yeah. So that the fire cannot go in a waste yeah so i'll wait for the water to dry up then i put our cooking oil inside the pan as i am waiting i'll cut our tomatoes i'm only cooking with one tomato today yeah in cooking you have to do partially you put the oil as it's cooking you cut the tomato yeah, there we go this is our cooking oil yeah you can come and show them there is our cooking oil I'm not putting so much of cooking oil because it's not uh, good for health too much cooking oil just put a portion of it we have cut our tomatoes like so in small pieces yeah so guys you might be wondering what we are cooking today stay tuned as you enjoy and see what we are preparing today so i'm going to drop our tomato our onion yeah, we're going to drop our onion, then cook it like so. There we go. The fire is lighting up so well, so you have to ensure that the onions do not, uh, it's not burnt, it has to be golden brown not black or dark brown yeah i think our onions are almost cooked so i'll take our tomatoes and drop them inside like that then cook as well Actually, cooking with three stones is actually faster than, let's say, gas or any other means. And actually, it's used in many homes here in African village. We usually use these three stones with firewood in cooking. Yes, guys, so at this point, I'm going to add in our salt over here. Our salt. We're going to put just salt for taste, like so. Yeah. For salt, you have to measure according to your to what you're cooking. It's just for taste. Like that. And guys, here we have our green beans. So guys, here we have our ndengu. Yeah, so today we are going to eat ndengu with rice. So I'll add in our ndengu inside, like so. Yeah, then you mix it. The ndengu is already uh, 
it's already cooked so i'm just frying it like so i'll add in our clean water this is cooking water so i'll add in a little bit like so like that so it's looking already delicious you can come and show our audience how it's looking like here you go guys this is how we are cooking it and as you cook you ensure that the fire is lighting up well you make sure that the fire is lighting up as you are cooking So actually guys this ndengu we eat with chapati or rice so today basically we are going to eat with rice yeah and enjoy our lunch meal so guys i'm going to test the salt if it reached or i have to add another portion Yeah, I have to add some a little bit of salt inside the our stew. Yeah, I think it's enough. Oh. I think it's enough. So guys, I'll close it for like maybe 10 minutes so that they still can cook well. Then we'll come back and put our rice. So guys, I think our stew is ready. So I'm gonna remove it. Then we have our rice over here. We have a rice over here. So I'm gonna wash. I'm going to wash it. Then we put and wait for the rice to cook. Then we enjoy our meal. Yeah. So as I wash, I will close our stew. I'll cover our stew with this. Yeah, then I remove it after washing our rice. So guys, I'm going to wash our rice like so. Pour water here inside and wash it two times. I wash our rice like this. Now our rice is clean. So I'm going to place our rice here in this area. Then. So guys, I'm going to put uh, two and a half uh, cups of water like this. So I have to measure so that I don't put excess water on the rice. Two and uh, I'll put three. Three like that. Yes. With the rice we don't put salt 
in the rice. So I'm going to prepare white rice. I'll, prepare, I'll put it there. Then ensure that the fire like so. What? You can see our rice is ready. Yeah, here is our rice. So guys, I'm going to remove the rice. Move the so the rice is already cooked. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So I'm going to close it. So guys, 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 thank you for watching that amazing videos. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Continue supporting our YouTube channel. And thank you for making us reach 5K subscribers. We are remaining like with only uh, 20 subscribers to hit 5K. So let's see each other on the road to 5K. And see you on our next vlog. Bye-bye.